It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Orbit Beers in London and it's a bottle of their IVO Pale Ale coming in at 5.3% ABV. There's a look at the label. A lovely looking bottle cap there. First beer from this company, kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors beersofeurope.co.uk Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beers of Europe are the largest online beer store in the UK. There's some fantastic beer on their website. Uh, new beers, new breweries, old breweries, classic breweries, classic beer styles. You name it, Beers of Europe have probably got it. Great American craft beer, German beer, Belgian beer. It's good stuff. Check out beersofeurope.co.uk. So, beer in the glass, uh, two finger, slightly off white head. Uh, as it's a bottle conditioned beer, it's slightly hazy. Probably should have left a little bit of that yeast in the bottle, uh, but it's all gone in. It's all gone in, it's all good. So, a slightly hazy then, deep, quite a deeper amber colour to this beer, golden amber. Let's get the aroma. Ooh, but blimey. I just get a massive waft of peaches coming through. Peach and grapefruit. It smells so fresh. Lots of American hops. I'm going to dive into this beer. Cheers, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm gonna put that down. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what an absolutely fantastic beer this is. It's pungent, it's grapefruity, it's fresh. It's begging to be, as soon as you get your nose into that beer, it's begging to be drunk. It's, if you know your beer, if you know a hoppy beer, then, then this is the kind of beer that you go, you smell it and you go, whoa, there, this is great. It's so super fresh, um, it's just come to us just last week. Um, but yeah, I love a pale ale, um, with it being 5.3% ABV and with it being so full of flavour, you could, you could quite easily kind of sit and relax and session this beer. Um, if you were going out with your mates, you found your beer that you want to kind of drink for the evening. You've tried a few and you want to stick to something, this is probably going to be that beer. Really good stuff. Right, let's pull out some flavours for you. Mango, grapefruit, little bit of apricot, some peach in there, oh it's lemony, orange peel, it's just them, them typical tropical plus them sharp vitamin C fruits going on uh, in the beer. Nice levels of carbonation, the beer kind of pushes around the inside of the mouth nicely. And it's an all-round, really good, drinkable beer. It says on the back of the label here, it's a bottle-conditioned beer. And they've just got it right, you know, they've not really kind of over... There's not loads of yeast floating around in that glass. That is a very acceptable look for a bottle-conditioned beer. If, like me, you've forgotten to leave the yeast out. Orbit Beers, London. Yeah, I'm going to check these out a little bit more. Um, the description is elegant, aromatic, best enjoyed, fresh, bottle condition, orbitbeers.com. That was a very good beer. Bingo, bingo. Go and try it. I'm not sure. No, I haven't got any more beer from them, but I'm certainly going to look and I'm going to pick up some more of their stuff. I think they're an up-and-coming, a promising brewery. And they remind me, I've got to be honest, they remind me when I first tried the Buxton Brewery beers about three or four years ago. They were just new and fresh and quite brilliant. And we knew Buxton were going to kind of do some diff really good things. And they've gone out and done it. They really have gone out and done it. I think Orbit Beers could do exactly the same thing. Um, Stone the Crows beer, 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Check out beersofeurope.co.uk 
Um, 9 out of 10 as I say. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Cheers.